good afternoon students and we will continue with the topic networking and uh, yesterday i discuss about cloud computing so cloud computing means you can accessing data and program over the internet okay so your uh, software are installed in your in server in place of your computer system and then there are first come here is cloud computing okay and the meaning of the cloud computing is it refers to storing and assessing data and programs program is software over the internet instead of your computer hard disk so there are two type of cloud so there are two types of work. so cloud means server one is number one is public cloud and second is private cloud so these are the two type of clouds and in the case of public cloud any person can use cloud computing public cloud computing for this you have to create your id and password for example uh, in the case of your uh, gmail you can use google drive okay so there is no any type of uh, limitations or restrictions imposed by the company for the eligibility of a cloud storage or cloud computing so examples are microsoft azure google drive cloud drive i cloud so these are the some example of public clouds now in the case of private cloud the you know, private clouds are the cloud facility of any company or organization it means employee of that organization can use that cloud for this there is a proper user id and password and these are provided by that company so this type of uh, for example in the case of airtel the airtel provide the cloud uh, uh, computing for their for its employees okay so this type of clouds with the private cloud there is no any examples given is it is the private uh, cloud of any company any you can take the example of any company now next is any doubt in this matter yes do you have any doubt in this public cloud and private cloud no sir no okay. sir now next is there is a one term multimedia that is given in your syllabus here is 
multilinear. Now, we know that uh, uh, the audio and video are more eye catching and interesting in place of the text material. So, there are different media by using that we can we can present our data. It may be text or image or audio or a video or animation. So these are different media. By using that, we can present our data. The data can be presented in the format of uh, text or image or audio or video or animation. And whenever we create, we are create a file in which more than one media is used. It is called multimedia. Clear? Because uh, in the case of uh, any, uh, in, the, in the case of PowerPoint, we create a slideshow in which text and image, it is called multimedia. We use uh, sound, audio, uh, or video and text. Again, this is called multimedia. So, present time uh, in we uh, in uh, movies, the, the, uh, we are using more than one media. That's why these are called multimedia. Clear? In uh, your uh, news channels, there is a or video is there and also text is there. So that's why it is called the multimedia. So in the multimedia means it is. I am typing the definition of multimedia. It refers to combination of many types types of media. Many types of media means text, image, audio, video, animation in one application. So in one place we are doing these things. So this is called multimedia. Now in there are five components, five component of multimedia. It means in multimedia what we can include. Number one, text. So any information given in alphabets, okay, or in words is called text. Clear? So number two, graphic, graphics and images. So graphic and images, here you are giving a digital drawing, okay, digital photography, photographs. So this is a very present time, very uh, famous. So in any type of file, we are giving any type of a digital drawing or digital photograph. It is called graphics or images. And images are a combination of pixels, okay? Number three, audio. So here only speech is, okay? Speech, music, and the sound is clear. So there is no any type of video image will be there. So only your speech or your uh, music is or a sound is there. Number four, video. So video is a digitally recorded moving contents that contain rapid progressing of pictures. So it is a moving content. So it is a combination of uh, frames. This is in a, in a technical we say. So it means it is a just a moving content. So 
your picture files uh, your uh, your uh, uh, your graphic files are in the shape of png jpg bmp tiff okay like this but your audio files are in the shape of midi midi wave real audio mp3 wma okay but your video files are in the format of mpeg evi wm v with time so these are the different uh, formats of uh, your video files and last component of your multimedia is animation so animation is a making static images look like it is moving so animation is not in the reality video is in reality but your animation here you are making your static or still images to making just like they are moving so this is called as animation so digital animation are divided between different parts like the 2d it is called two dimensional and the 3d it's called three dimensions so these are the two categories of your animation so different two uh, softwares are used for uh, animation flash is there clear swift is there there are so many different softwares are there for animation so this is about multi media we discuss here images audio video and uh, animation okay friends if you have any doubt raise your hands Priyanshi, do you have any doubt in this? No, sir. Okay, sir. So with this, uh, this chapter is complete. Networking and uh, multimedia, and in our syllabus now only the first three chapter which we have already discussed in term one. So uh, these are the part of term two. This is chapter number one. chapter number 1 is in your book chapter number 1 name is computer system then chapter number 2 that is types of hardware and chapter number 3 types of uh, software these are in your syllabus also because we have already discussed this but we will again discuss this chapter okay so now come to your chapter number 1 computer system so chapter number 1 computer system okay so uh, when when we discuss the word computer basically computer word means a machine to compute computer means to calculate so initially computer was introduced for fast computing fast calculation so a machine that is that was used for computing fast calculation was computer but uh this is now present time computer is not only for fast computing now it is providing a uh, a big variety of uh, activities we can do with the help of a computer system so the word computer 
its full form is common oriented machine particularly used for trade education and research so it is a machine common oriented machine it is a machine that is used for trade education and research so these are the three things in me uh, we have education area one is trade then education and research so this is a full form of computer comma common oriented machine particularly used for trade education and research but what is the definition of computer so common computer is an electronic machine that receive input process the data according to the instructions and give us output so this is the definition of a computer so i am typing the definition here computer is an electronic machine that receives input from user process that according to the instruction these instructions are given with the help of software and gives out gives process that okay so this is the definition of computer now the uh, in the case of your computer we use we are using the ipo the full form of ipo is i stand for input p e stand for processing and o stand for output so these are the three things we are doing with the help of a computer that is ipo so computer work on ipo first it get the input and then it process the data and give us output so there are some more terms first is hardware so the physical things physical parts of your computer system which we can touch or which we can feel is called hardware for example your uh, mouse is here then printer is here then keyboard is here your the web camera then uh, cabinet so all of these things we can touch or these are physically uh, we can uh, feel its presence so it is called hardware so there are in, uh, there is another term that is called software so inside the your computer system there are different uh, applications or different uh, small programs that run your computer system physically we can't touch it because whenever you are touching you are uh, Uh, you want to touch the software you you will touch the screen so the software is are inside your computer system so these are the program these are the instructions instruction how to handle the data okay, and how to process the data so it is called software next is data so data is called unprocessed raw facts and figures okay Unprocessed raw facts and figures 
it means from this we can't get an idea. So this is called a, which one? This is called data. But whenever you get the process data, it is called information. It means from information you are getting an idea. You are getting uh, you can um, take decisions. Okay, this is called information. Otherwise, there is a very uh, small difference between data and information. For example, for information of a, uh, one person, maybe the data for another person. For example, your uh, your marks is a information for you. Uh, is a information for you, but for your teacher, it is just different. And class, student of all the marks of a class is information for the class in charge, but will be the data for a principal. Okay, so this is a very small difference between data and information. There is only one difference is there. the data from data we can't take any decision, but from information we are getting the information. Information is a processed data. But data is a raw facts, uh, raw facts and figure. It is unprocessed. Any doubt in this? Prachi, any doubt? Yes, uh, yes, sir. Unmute yourself. No, sir. No, sir. Yes, but if you have any doubt, please put the query with us. Yes, roll number 18, you can put the query with us if you have. Okay, next, next is okay, since, uh, now the next topic in your syllabus is Statistics of computer. Statistics uh, uh, means uh, there are some plus points, there are some negative points, both of these, okay, of your computer system. So these are, you can uh, you can say these are the features, okay, of your computer system. So it includes strength and weaknesses, both of these. So first we will discuss the strength of computer system. So as a computer system, uh, computer system strength, uh, first strength is speed. The speed of your computer, uh, the speed of computer system is very high. Okay, so processing is very high. Its processing is, uh, if you compare the processing of uh, information by the computer system with human being, then you can't compare. The speed of computer system is very fast. So million transactions can be processed in one second or in a nanosecond. Next is high storage. So high storage, you can give the computer system having a very high storage uh, in, uh, in the case of your hard disk, the size, the, uh, there is a near about 4 TB or 8 TB data is here. So storage of your computer system is very high. 
So uh, next is number three. Accuracy. The data processing of your computer system is very accurate. It means if there is any error, this error is not due to the computer system, but due to the incorrect or wrong input. So there is one term garbage in, garbage out. So if you are providing the wrong information to the computer system, it will produce wrong text. Okay. So garbage in, garbage out. Number four, reliability. So reliability means the in the case of computer system, there is no any tiredness and boredness. Okay, boredom. So ne computer never bored or uh, you can say ne never tired. So this type of features are in the case of human being. So after doing the some work. You are tired and also you feel bored. Okay. These type of features are not in the case of your computer system. That's why computer system is reliable. So reliability, uh, reliable reliability feature is in the case of your, your computer system because uh, no need to monitor the working of your computer system. It will never stop the working here, yeah, whether you are present or absent. Next is so computer is a versatile machine. It means it can do the variety of works. Here you can listen any music, you can watch any movie, you can draw something or you can type something. So computer is a versatile machine. It provides us, uh, provide us a variety of work. So these are the some strengths of computer system, but there are some weaknesses also there. First one is Lack of decision making. So computer system is the computer is not uh, taking decision because it has no any type of uh, brain just like a human being. So it taking decision on the basis of uh, programs, artificial intelligence provided by with the software. IQ. So IQ of your machine, uh, computer the machine is IQ is totally zero. Okay. So we I take this decision. It, it pro we provide it's uh, provide intelligence to the computer system only with their software. Software. No heuristic means the computer system never learn from past experience. As a human being, we learn from the uh, past experience, but as a machine, it will do the same error again and again. With, uh, if that error is in the software, it will, it will never learn from the past experience. It will do the same error again and again till we rectify the software. So next is, no any, no emotions. So as a human being, we have a feeling of uh, diff different emotions are there. Sadness is there, uh, angry, angry uh, moments are there. But in the case of computer system, it is a machine. It, uh, it never provide us any type of uh, emotions. So these are the different uh, Characteristics of computer system. There are some strengths are there, some weaknesses are there. 
Now, if you have any doubt, raise your hands. Do you have any doubt? No, sir. There you are. Divya. No, sir. Tomorrow we will continue this chapter. So there are different types of computer we will discuss tomorrow better. So in case you have any query, you can uh, raise your hand. 